Okay, this is a tutorial to show you how to insert a YouTube video into a PowerPoint and we're talking about PowerPoint version 2011 forward. So 2011 and 2013. It used to be pretty easy to embed a YouTube video right with the code, uh, but that's no longer possible. You actually need to use a little Visual Basic programming, but it's relatively simple. I'm going to walk you through the steps. Okay, so first, let us, uh, I'm going to close out of this. I'm going to pull up a video that I'm looking for here in YouTube. I'm going to allow the plug in. And I'm doing this on a Windows machine. It's a little bit different on a Mac. So this is the video that I'm looking for here. Oh, wonderful, she's not playing. Yeah. Oh, here's another video. Okay, I have a video here. So what we want is normally if you're going to doing some uh, embedding or linking of videos, you can go down here to the share or to the embed code or that type of thing. Uh, we don't want to do that. We want to take any video that we're looking at, and we want to come up here to the top, and we want to grab this URL. Control-C on a Windows machine, Command C on a Mac, and then I'm going to go down and I'm going to open up, you can do this in Word, I usually just go to Notepad, and I'm going to paste that link in here. Now in order to change it to some vis visual basic code, you have to go in here where it says watch question mark, and you need to get rid of that. And then you need to go in after this V and grab this equal sign. You need to change the equal sign to a forward slash. You now have this video uh, ready to go. So at this particular point, we're good. Uh, I'm going to minimize Notepad. I don't actually need it right at this exact moment. And I'm going to go back to uh, my, my screenshot. I don't need that. I need it to go. So we're back in our PowerPoint, and at this particular point we want to insert the video. It doesn't insert as well as it used two years ago. Got to use some Visual Basic, but it's built right into this uh, Microsoft PowerPoint, and it's pretty easy. So I'm going to click on File and go all the way down here to Options and click on Options. That opens up the PowerPoint options. In this left menu, I'm going to go to Customize Ribbon. I have two sets of commands. I'm going to go all the way over here to the right, and I'm looking for one called Developer. Notice that it is not checked. I need to have the Developer tab in order to get into doing what I need to do. So I'm going to just check that Developer, and I'm going to come down to the bottom of this, and pull this up so you can see it, and say OK. Notice I now have the Developer tab. So I'm going to click on the Developer tab, and what I'm looking for, it depends on whether you have 2011 or 2013. If you have 2011, this will be a hammer and a wrench. It's a screwdriver and a wrench in 2013, which is what I'm using. So you're going to click on that. You have a whole list of plugins, more controls. You're going to scroll down, all the way down, and you're looking for Shockwave Flash Object. Click on that. Say OK. Now you'll notice that your cursor has turned into a plus sign. I'm just going to click and drag and I'm going to create the video window, so the window where the video is going to go. And I release it, so I get this white box with an X in it. Now I can drag this around any place on my screen that I would like it. Let's just leave it right here for right now. So at this particular point I'm going to go back and get my get my YouTube video and I'm going to grab that link that was in Notepad. So I'm going to grab this link, Control C, minimize out of this, get rid of this screen, and so now I'm going to just click in this white box and right click and I'm going to get Property Sheet as the choice. I'm going to drag this in here so you could see it. So the property sheet's got all this data and information here. I'm going to go to this line right in the middle here called Movie, and notice there's nothing in it. I'm going to click so that my cursor is blinking in that spot, 
and I'm going to do the control V and paste that information in there, it is now locked in. So although it, nothing, it looks like nothing changed, we have actually said that we have converted this particular box to the place to house that video. So I'm going to get out of here. Now you can't see it yet, but if you go up here to slideshow, click on slideshow and then do from the beginning, there's our video. And if I click here, it'll play. So again, um, you know, not a big deal, but uh, obviously something that has a few steps, pretty easy to do once you know what your setup needs to be and how you need to do it. So hopefully this was helpful to you.